Hello friends, it's me, the Geek Von Doom, and as you can see, ba -ba 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 -ba, I have a prawn suit. Ah, and apparently low frame rate for just a split second. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. So this is the prawn diving suit. High pressure diving suit. Now as you can see from the prawn, I have actually made a few upgrades to my base, including a moon pool. Moon pool. The purpose of the moon pool, let me get over there right quick, is a place where you can upgrade, if you have the right equipment, upgrade and recharge your vehicles without actually having to change the battery. Stuff like that. I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna do this because that's a thing that has to be done for some reason every now and then. Because it kind of forgets that it can go down to 300 meters, but yeah. So I'm going to put you... No, I'm actually going to bring the prawn suit with me because today we are going deeper than we've ever gone before. Uh, see, there you are. All right. Back over there. I haven't installed any of the upgrade abilities you know, the thing... I haven't installed the vehicle upgrade bay yet into the moon pool, but it is rather convenient for recharging still. That will be something that I have on the next episode. Welcome aboard, Captain. All Thank you. Online. Good to know. So... So our first goal today will be going heading down into the Grand Reef, a.k.a. the Blue Ball area. Since most of the times I can't remember, it's actually named, you know, the Grand Reef. So we're going to be taking... Oh, huh, wrong button. So we're going to be taking the big guy down there. There we are. A little bit deeper. Sometimes it's better to navigate by camera when you're descending into a tight course. Alright, so the first stop on our journey, we're just about 330 meters away from the base, is this piece of wreckage. I'm going to hop out here so you can see some landmarks around it and all that so you know where it is because it holds, it holds very important materials. Uh, let's see here. Pretty much right where the the second line of reef balls start. It's around a whole bunch of wreckage. I wish it were a little bit more bright. Oh well. And in here you can find the grappling arm for the prawn suit, as well as many other blueprints and whatnot, such as the moon pool itself, the vehicle upgrade station. 30 seconds. And uh, I also found another piece of the still suit in there, but I don't think that's... I think that might be one of those random thingies. Alright, so turning around and continuing on. I'm gonna back out here, because these walls are a little bit too close for my comfort. We're gonna be continuing to head down into the depths and see what else we can find. The sun is setting. Not that it matters, because it's dark as shit down here. Okay, okay, don't worry. I'm not going to hit nothing. Morning. Cavitating. All right, I'm cavitating. I got it. Jeez. There's two of them! Well, that's just cheating. I don't like that at all. It is getting a little... Uh, let's see here. How about you? I could... How am I doing? Good. Tell you what, just to make this a little bit more interesting, I'm gonna hop down in the prawn suit. Give this guy a, a little test. Whee! Oh, 
This is so cool. Although I do feel incredibly vulnerable. Okay. Let's see what there is to find. And punch it. Yeah. There's also a grinding arm. Alright. There's also a grinding arm that you can get for this guy that allows you to mine materials. Detecting a titanium mass somewhere in the area. Unable to confirm whether it is originated from the Aurora. So, I guess there's something down here. Titanium mass of some sort. Probably a, a base from the original survivors or not survivors as it were oh my god oh well, that's good there's some thermal stuff down here which means I should bring a thermometer down here and see if there's, this is a good place to put down a thermal power plant I bet you it is. Whee! What the fuck was that noise? Oh my god. Oh my god. This suddenly went from fun to terrifying. That is a noise I am not familiar with. fuck are you? Oh, you are terrifying looking. Oh, I have seen these things before. Brain crabs or something along those lines. It's been so long. I don't ever remember one attacking me, so let's just get a little bit closer look. It's not leading me into a trap at this guy. There is a warper, though. Oh, and there's a thing up there. I'm gonna chance it. What the hell is that? It's an egg. It's a brain crab egg. You know what? I'm gonna take you. Oh, all right. Bye then. Oh, I just looked up and like immediately had a heart attack. Oh, what the fuck was that? Oh, I disabled my battery. Brain crab. You're awesome, but fuck you. Get away from me. Punch the shit out of you. Get the hell out of here. You know who I am? Your worst nightmare. Except in reality, it's the other way around. Alright, so I don't remember which way I was going, but uh, down seems to be the right way. Hello again. Now, I don't actually know a lot about the Warpers. Oh, would you get away? Nah. Ah, oh, they do munch on you. Ugh, oh, I don't like you. Ugh. Oh. Anyway, like I was saying, I don't actually know a lot about the warpers like that one. Like, I'm just gonna leave, alright? But I do know that they are not of this world. Quite literally, like me, they existed somewhere else previous to this planet. Now, this is a new material right here. I actually set up a little farm of these myself. They can be found... Come on. Man. Frame rate. 
killing me. Anyway, they can be found in other places. Um, oh, I can actually pick it up while I'm... Whoop. Anyway. They can be found in other places besides just the Grand Reef, but they are the main component. Besides being edible, they are also the main component for... Uh, or one of the two components for aerogel. Caution. Dehydration detected. Oh, really? Whoa! The fuck? Is that... It's like a giant lava rock. Why is there a giant lava rock? Where did you come from, giant lava rock? Like, I'm not losing it, right? That just kind of came out of nowhere, right? I can walk on it. It's solid. Or, well... <laughs> maybe not. That's crazy. Where did you come from? It's weird down here. Want some? Want some? Ha! That's what I thought. So, as it turns out, if you look down on my bottom left side of the screen, I have made a mistake. Again, I have forgotten to get water from my epic journey. I'm gonna try to make it back and remember how I pass these douchebags. Ugh! Running out of water fast. I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it. Oh. Looks like old Von Doom didn't quite plan. Ooh, why, wow, hello. Plan things out again. Oh! Look where I am! Oh! It's a base! Cool! Please be have water in here! I'm gonna pop out of here, find a way in. Something with water. Who's that? Which was nothing. It's not water. None of this is water. Oh my god. Man, you guys are loud. Welcome aboard, Captain. You must sense my impending doom. I'll be back for you, base. <clears throat> well, that's it for me. I am the dead because of lack of planning. But fortunately, it starts me right back here on the Cyclops. And hopefully I made it down fair enough. Let's see, where are you? That's not bad, only 130, I can swim that. And then we get back to looking at that base. Alright, so we saw the base. I could not find it after... Afterwards, but uh, we definitely found the base. For a split second, in a panic. Surrounded by deadly, deadly, deadly monsters. Um... We will go back to that. In fact, the next episode, I'm actually going to start out there if I can. If I can remember to. And then we'll actually go in and look for all the PDAs and the upgrades and the whatnot. But we have more to see on this episode, so we're going to keep moving. So if you guys remember the other episode, we got... Oh, where did it go? Let's write some inventory. We got this, an energy pulse origin signal. We are now going to go find it. Oh, do I have to? All right, then. As well as the original Aurora rendezvous point to see what amazing things are there. So 
So, oh, let's see here. I won 600 that way, and then I got another. We're gonna hit that one first, I think. Yeah. So, on a completely unrelated note, my life pod seems to have drifted all the way back to its original position. So, that's good. Good old life pod 5. By the way, I do believe we have some more messages I haven't checked in a while, so let's check them out. Message. Aurora, it's Sunbeam. We've made orbit, and scans have found a landing site on the planet that's only rated hazardous. It's Hooray. our best shot. We've sent you the coordinates. We'll be there in two days' time. Cross your fingers, the weather holds. And don't leave us waiting. Sunbeam out. Oh. Well, I guess we have a new objective, don't we? Oh, good. The energy pulse origin and the sunbeam landing site are within close proximity. That is excellent news, but I need water first. So I don't have a repeat of you know, earlier with the deaf. Ta-da! Another island. Hooray! This island I actually have not been to since they have made the major changes to it. This is going to be a new experience for me. I have heard tale of what is on this island and I shall share it with you. We have 34 minutes until the sunbeam arrives to rescue us. <coughs> and... Yeah... That will totally happen, because nothing could possibly go wrong. So while we're waiting, I'm going to go check out this energy pulse origin. And wouldn't you know it, there's a giant cubicle thing here. How far down does this go? It's massive. must be one of the alien thingies and from what I understand oh it has an entrance I don't know, know a thing or two about this alien specific alien thingy I'll get into that more later pretty sure all you all know by now too but for those of you who don't I'm not gonna spoil it for you let's check it out scans indicate this structure is composed of metal alloy which is unpreceded in, with unpreceded integrity something blah blah identified background message while being broadcast through the facility partial translation available read message warning identified craft in orbit of this planet will be destroyed prevent the that's my static noise by the way so I have to prevent the because they're going into a trap. And I thought that was a button. That'd be cool. I really love the way this place looks. Ah! Oh, it's so big and shiny. I love big shiny things. Oh! This is an ion crystal. Uh -huh. It will allow me to create even more powerful power sources. This is a warp gate. It's not a stargate, because stargates are circular and trademarked. still up more anything else over here Looks like we've got some kind of field scans indicate the facility's control room lies beyond this doorway I need the artifact oh no I didn't bring that with me ah uh, 
Nope, can't get through. Uh, 30 minutes? Yeah, I got time. Yeah, I'll go grab it and we'll go see if we can't stop the inevitable, inevitable destruction. I can speak. The inevitable Mmm. Not a construction. My god. And Oh, hey, there's one right here. Now we can stop the inevitable destruction of the sunbeam. And that will be good. Because then I can then I can get off this rock covered with water. This water rock. Wool rock. I get up here. Is there anything good? Nope. Okay. How about you? Yay! Now let's go completely stop this thing from being shot down. Is this it? Is this the, uh. I guess so? Alright. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. Disable the facility. A boom. Done. Oh. Oh. Oh! Ah! It's all spiky. Turns out any other broadcast warning infected individuals may not disable enforcement systems. Well. Apparently. Scans of available alien data indicate the presence of a second facility elsewhere on the planet. Evidence suggests it is located 800 meters below sea level, approximately one kilometer southwest of this installation. Information what? recorded to data bank. Looks like we got another thing to go. Oh no! Ow. Another thing to go check out. Perhaps next time we will check out that alien facility. That is linked to this facility. The disease re research facility, apparently. Uh, in the meantime, you know, I haven't scanned myself in a while. And that thing just reminded me that I was infected. So let's check out. Just how... Performing self-scan. The bacterial infection in your system has progressed, detecting skin irritation and immune system response. Further data required to identify bacterial strain. Uh -huh. Well, that's no good. So I know I promised I would take you higher. I'll take you higher. Sorry. Anyway. Um, but I can't get to the highest height in this game. I just, I'm, I'm not that, I'm just not that athletic. I'm sorry. And I promised myself that I would not cheat. On this game or any other game, really, I hate cheating in games because it kind of cheapens the experience for me. You know? Oh, well, we got another 24 minutes before the Doodle Bopper arrives. The USS Doodle Bopper. So, I guess. Oh, is this a thing? They can do stuff? No. I'm a gun. Oh. There's another entry point. There could be more stuff. Oh, there's a broken purple artifact. No. Curse the fates. Anyway. I guess I'm going to head back, grab the purple artifact, head back here, open that up. And maybe somewhere in between those two points in time, I'll go to the original Aurora Rendezvous point. I should be there with... should be back with like maybe... 10 minutes to spare, I'd say, maybe? 10 to... 5 to 10. Now, where it looks like the Aurora Rendezvous Point is... Definitely. 
It's that original island that I was on where I got all the stuff for the base. Now that I've got the beacon for it, though, I'll go look around where the beacon is and see if I can't find any new materials or blueprints or anything like that. I don't think that there's going to be anything new, but hey, who knows. Oh, everything's all folly downy. All right. That's kind of a cool effect, but don't you think that that would have happened millions of years ago? Just saying. No reason for things to start falling apart now. All right. Uh, oh, there is a PDA. Integrating new PDA data. All right, and it reads CTOU. We have to go back out there. We can't be the only two that made it. Officer Keen. Sorry, my thumb cracked. Anyway, those are not the orders the captain gave me, and they are not the orders I am giving you. CTOU. Let's see, CTO. Control officer? I don't know. Anyway, um, where was I? Ah, yeah. This isn't the chain of command. This isn't heroism. This is survival. The more of us there are, the more likely we live. Officer Keen, my obligations as acting commander don't turn on their convenience. Don't... Okay, don't turn... Turn on, not turn on. Gotcha. Officer U, or CTOU, if I get into trouble, I'll send you my coordinates. Officer Keen. Okay, okay. Just wait, I'm coming with you. So, hooray, that didn't work out. Thank God the sunbeam will arrive and rescue me. And nothing will possibly go wrong. Nothing could possibly go wrong. Are these even actual objects or are they just spawning in for the... Oh yeah, they're objects. That's kind of cool. Just want to check. For science purposes... What's below here? I've never actually been down below here. It looks like more of the Grand Reef. Yeah, sure enough. This might be the hole. Caution. Mild dehydration detected. Fluid intake recommended. You can't make me. Well, I'm not here to check this out. However, I will be back down there for that base. And also, there's an entrance to a horrifying place down there. A horrifying place called the Lost River. Full of bone fish and regular bones that aren't fish. All right, we got 17 minutes until the sunbeam arrives and we are rescued for all time. Hooray. So I'm gonna grab that purple artifact and unlock the thing to do the stuff whatever stuff there actually is go faster yeah mule no okay seeing these guys actually reminds me that there are anyway there, there are torpedoes in this game uh, there's two types of torpedoes for the sea moth one is a gas torpedo, which... Come on, there we go. Is produced using these gas pods right here. And the other is a vortex torpedo, which creates a giant gravity fluctuation to incapacitate foes. Or slow them down or something. But it's for the sea moth, which is interesting. I guess, to be fair, it would really be kind of hard to aim torpedoes from the Cyclops, as it is all slow and clunky, where is this one just be like, er, pow! And then they would be all, oh no, I've been torpedoed. I'm taking on water. Well, it's a fish, so it's probably not taking on water, because it's not a submarine. I don't know where it's going with that. 
All right, I'm back here as predicted with just over 10 minutes remaining. Give me just enough time to open up that door and find out what's on the other side. I'll put you right here. All right, then. All right, I have returned it. A thunk. Oh good, there is a thing. I'm starting to think this was for absolutely for not, or absolutely for not. Analysis of the patterns of the walls cannot ascertain whether the purpose was aesthetic or functional. Further detail, for further data is required. Speaking of data, data terminal. Unknown, Unknown language. Attempting oh. translation. All right. Integrating new PDA data. Oh, also I got a thing. Cool. Um, so, alien data terminal. This terminal is discovered within the alien facility of the surface planet, or surface of planet 4546B. On approach to the terminal began producing a low frequency radio wave containing complex but recognizable data patterns. Matches no known technologies. Constructed from the same off-world material as the facility itself. Seems to be a solid-state computer of some kind. No recognizable user interface. It is likely that the alien species which designed this technology evolved or genetically, or genetically selected sensory apparatus to hear and understand the information being broadcast by the device and to communicate back the mental processing power required to perform this kind of telepathy would imply that the designers are considerably more psychologically developed than the common human oh well, they're aliens who knew um let's see using the evidence gathered from this device gathered it um, let's see. It may be possible to extract comprehensible data from other such devices, should they exist. Assessment. Further alien data required. So, what, what did I get from it? I was too busy looking for that note to find out. Does anything look new? No, that's not it. I knew that. Uh, I don't know. Oh well. While we're waiting for our inevitable rescue, oh look, there's one right up here. Damn it, went all the way back for nothing. Oh well. 
not that big of a waste. Let's check out other things. Like, see how big this facility really is. My guess, just judging by its appearance, is really friggin' big. Yep, really freaking big. See if we can't climb our way up here. This is lead or lithium, okay. Ah! Uh. check out the rest of the island real quick before our inevitable rescue which will definitely happen oh there's a cave and a flap hello flap and cave crawlers well Oof. ow if I can zap him with this thing. And this cave has some water. Excuse me. And this water has a thing. So I'm gonna go down into this thing and I'm gonna see what kind of things are inside of this thing. Local scans indicate an abundance of mineral deposits in this area. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it goes down a lot, but I'm out of air, so, uh... 30 seconds. Down and back. Oxygen. Yes, 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 oxygen. You know, I was really hoping for some more blueprints around here. Oh well. Alright, we have one minute remaining until rescue. From the sunbeam. By the sunbeam, rather. Pretty moon. I'm gonna stand way up here so that they can see me. Something's happening at 30 seconds. The structure is growing and turning. It's a transformer! Oh, wait. <laughs> That's a cool siren. I like that. Alright, well, the sunbeam should be here any second. That's not menacing at all. Attention. Patching in a local broadcast from the sunbeam. Someone down there. Aurora, survivor. We have your PDA signature. I don't know how you walked away from that wreck, let alone survived since then. But we'll be happy to bring you on board and hightail back to Federation space. Stand back. We're approaching the landing site now. Breaking atmosphere in five, four, three. 
What is that? No, the red spike. From the spike. Oh shit, son. So, as it turns out, I'm not being rescued, I don't think. Any of this actually gonna land near me? I hope so. I hope this one does, and I hope it actually has something. I don't know if like this releases more things upon the planet for you to scan or anything, but that would be really nice. I feel like it's just an image effect, but that was so cool! Oh my god, it's still so cool. And it sucks that they died, but I mean, hey. Yeah, it's just an image effect. Um... So that's all the time that I have today on this episode. But still, questions and awesome sounding sirens still remain. Where are we going next episode? Actually, I want to go ahead and spoil that one for you right now. We are going even deeper. I will have all the things necessary in order to head down and tune into the Lost River. The Hidden River. The Lost River. Yeah, that's the one. Which is even deeper than the Grand Reef area that we were in before. Like I said before, we'll be heading back into the Grand Reef. Because I, I really want to find that base again. Got panicked the first time, whatever. But I will start that next episode right there. At that base. Yet. At that base. And then we will travel downwards into the depths of doom. Look forward to that on the next episode of Von Doom Gaming!